I believe I was just in the middle of a civil war, they call it, between wow. like the GM and the head coach. And you were a captain. Yeah. Yeah. That was insane. Yeah, I mean, that was like, oh, that's that. a crazy like yeah, y'all had, y'all story. had crazy yeah. stuff going on. I can't wait to do Is that like, a crazy story that might yeah. need to be shared? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll share it in a book or something. Okay, all right. Yeah. It was but, that crazy. Yeah, it was that crazy. All right, so like before that book releases though, you gotta like give us a sneak peek. Yeah. Come no, back was it was we, what we can we, touch a little bit yeah. on it. I don't want to give all we heard in the media true. Like everything true. Like what did you hear? Like, well, the allegation. That Flores made. How crazy? What basically? Yeah, how yeah. crazy? What Miami ready set go? Let's just hear the get a small <laughs> glimpse. Because butterfly I, in, in my room. research, I was like yeah. four year, fifty million dollar contract. Captain yeah. team left after year. I asked my friend who's a Dolphins fan, and they don't even know. Yeah, so, so. I believe I was just in the middle of a civil war. They call it wow. between like the GM and the head coach, and that like going on the power struggles that you don't see behind closed doors, yeah. and it was kind of him like, oh, this was your guy? Well, you know, oh. see ya. Um, Do you still get paid that contract? So I only had in my contract fully guaranteed the out of the 53 was 15. Gotcha. So I did have an injury settlement. Like um, Byron Jones, I believe, is he had an Achilles. He's still getting paid by the Dolphins right now, even though – He's but because of his injury. So um, I might as well have been like, ah, my leg or something, you know, and I would have still got paid, but I wanted to keep playing. Yeah. Um, but I think that's kind of what happened. Another thing down there that happened was I some players were talking to the media about Tua and blah, 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 oh. blah. And a lot of people thought it was me. Yeah. And I, then I every, heard people that. don't know this, but me and Tua are close. <laughs> like I know Tua and like for me to like go to like one of the um, beat writers seems cr like that's crazy to me. And a lot of like uh, people down there thought I was like feeding these beat writers information, which was like, what? Um, I know some players, that's what they do. Yeah. Like, I think it's crazy to do that in general, but that's not something I would do. Um, so that was kind of, that pissed me off that like some, People started that rumor, and then after I got cut, they asked me about, like, Brian Flores, and then literally, like, two hours after that, I got a – someone sent me, a like, a news article that came out saying, like, I was a bad captain, mm. I was a bad teammate, you know, X, Y, and Z, and I was just them trying to, like, cover themselves of why they cut me, I guess. I don't got know, it. but there's a lot more that That's goes crazy. into, and, like, to a – talks about it all the time and his relationship of, you know, going from what he had of, you know, he was scared to make a mistake, didn't feel comfortable, and now he gets mm -hmm. to be himself. You know, he talks trash on the podium now, <laughs> you know. It's kind of cool. I'm happy for his success. He, you know, it's, a, it's big when that happens, when you struggle a couple years and then have some success like his team has right now. They're even though they lost to the Eagles, they're still a pretty good dang team. Yeah. How did you find out you got traded in the first uh, oh, in Detroit? So I got a phone call at 1 o'clock October 24th. I remember the day. On At 1 o'clock. Um, remember the time? Yeah. I was going to a— Remember the weather? Uh, no. <laughs> it's but, rainy outside. Yeah. <laughs> I won't forget that because it was a crazy day. I was going to the, we were going to the hospital for something. Um, oh, crap. And I see. Yeah, I remember that too, probably. Yeah. It wasn't anything serious. It was just like oh. kind of that whole day of just remembering. You know, I get the phone call and the guy was like, hey, you know, uh, Bob Quinn, who was the GM there, was like, hey, you know, want to say thanks for, you know, everything you've done in Detroit and blah, 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 blah. Like, we traded you, you know, thank you. And I'm like, well, where did you trade me to? <laughs> he didn't, like, tell me right away. He was like, traded you to New England, appreciate you, click. That was it. Wow. Didn't hear from, you know, then I got a phone call from the Patriots. Hey, you know, the only thing cool about getting traded is they pay for your move. So Wow. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm always interested to hear how guys hear – yeah. Because I know some guys, like, be chilling, and they just find out, like, I was social chilling. media. Were you in trade But I'm having, like, it's cool that they at least called you. Like, yeah. I know some guys, like, literally, 
I don't know if it's they don't try to communicate yeah. it or like. Well, I got cut in Miami by a phone call. Mm. Oh, they didn't even bring you up. Nah, from a phone call. Now that's disrespectful. That's, and that's that can that's gonna be part of the mm. you know. I'll get it. I'll dive into that. I'll give you. I'm excited for the yeah. book. I'm yeah. excited for the. Wait, uh, so were you in trade rumors? Like, had no, you been- I, I felt like something was coming because yeah. of how I was getting treated. Like, gotcha. I knew mm. that. So I found out I was a general manager's pick. And a lot of people don't know this. Some players are coaches' picks, some players are general managers' picks. Some uh, people have like, where they're a both pick. It just happens to be that way. I was a general manager's pick. I don't believe the defensive coordinator liked me. For my first two years, I had my position coach tell me to my face, we don't know where to put you. Mm. And it's like, well, just put me on the field. <laughs> like, I don't care where you put me. Yeah. You know, put, just put me on the field. And ended up, you know, the GM got fired my second year. We went one and seven and ended up coming all the way back. And then Aaron Rodgers has this famous um, Hail Mary. Oh, you're you're yeah, on the team. I, I was that. on the team watching. <laughs> um, watching at that point. And it's kind of funny in that there's a story within that. Me and Coach Caldwell are like, there's a back way to Detroit to like go up hella stairs um, underneath from the field. And I'm at like the top of the stairs next to him and we're both pissed off. And a coach at the bottom was like, they're doing a PAT. Cause I, back then, like if you hit a game winner, yeah, you'd have to kick the PAT. And I'm at the top and I like literally like run down <laughs> these stairs, full pads. And I like, I get on the railing and slide, was like slide <laughs> down to get on the field fast as possible. Cause that's something I was on. Um, I want to get my player performance, player performance. Yeah, getting, getting on the Smart field. <laughs> Wait, so you get traded from Detroit to New England. Are you excited about that? You're going from one of the worst yeah, teams to the best. So I was actually pissed at first because um, I was starting on the lines. I finally was starting to play. And then going to New England, you got Hightower, Jamie Collins, mm-hmm. Rob Ninkovich, and Jabal Sheard, Chris Long, and, it's like, and Shea McClellan. It's like, where the hell am I going to play? And then, unfortunately, like a week later after I got there, they traded Jamie Collins. And then everybody hated me in New England for a couple (laughs) weeks because that was everybody's boy. And ended up working out. He ended up coming back. And we're all like, you know, me, Hightower, and him are like the best of friends. Nice. Those are my guys. And you want and that what year was that? 16. We won that year. Oh dang, that's clutch. Yeah. 28 to 3 comeback. 